So I'm just doing a little research because, because that's how I do. I don't judge things that I don't know anything about. I research it and learn for myself, um, including etymology and where words derive from and their, their original meaning. Um, I don't even go to the dictionary. I, I research the word and how it's evolved over time. So uh, because I don't know anything about witchcraft or witches, um, I would like to gain a deeper understanding of the, the origin of these words and how they've evolved over time. And so um, they started becoming... The negative connotation to these words were derived from the patriarchal, um, you know, as, as men started taking over and dominating women, these words started taking on a negative connotation. Um, originally, it was the female uh, energy, the divine feminine, that was in charge of teaching and healing and, um, you know, the priesthood, okay, the church, all that. So the word, uh, there's witch, okay, which comes from the word wit, which means wise, okay, wise one. Then there's a couple other words that they used to use for these teachers, healers. Um, hag, which comes from hagio, which means holy. And then there's crone, which means crown. Okay, and if you know anything about the chakras, the crown chakra is the, the chakra that is um, the one most connected to God. Okay, that's where you get, that's where you have your conversations with God, where you receive the messages from God. So, these are wise, holy, um, communicators with God. Okay? And, you know, the, the three stages of womanhood, when they, you know, when patriarchy started to rule instead of uh, matriarchy, which is the divine feminine ruling. Um, they were divided into three stages of womanhood. So maiden, mother, and then crone. Okay, crone would be like an old woman. Crone means crown. Okay, so witch is wit, which means wisdom, wise one. Hag, mean, meaning hagio, H-A-G-I-O, meaning holy or holy one. And then crone, meaning crown. Again, very connected with the divine. So that's what I've gotten so far. And you can research it on your own. I suggest you dig deep to get the truth. It takes work. If you're willing to do the work, you can find truth. I don't take other people's words for anything unless it's coming directly from God. So I suggest other people do the same. If you want real, actual truth, do your own research. Learn for yourselves. So love to you all. Peace and blessings to you all.